How are we doing, folks? We've got a great one for you today. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I, I forgot about that. The camera's down here. These weights are pretty heavy. I just didn't feel like putting them on the counter. Anyway, so um, you may have seen a Facebook post or a YouTube post previously about this, but these suitcase weights here by John Deere, this particular one, it says 20 kilograms and 40 pounds on it. And uh, for some time now, that's not really bugged me, but sparked my curiosity as to uh, which one was correct because 20 kilograms does not equal 40 pounds. So I felt it probably had to be one or the other. And so finally, I broke up my scale. And what we're going to do today is weigh all the suitcase weights that I have, the 40 pound suitcase weights. And then I've only got a few of these 70 pound suitcase weights. And then I just have a pair of these 110 pound suitcase weights. Okay. And that's just the uh, typical advertising that you would hear them called. So 40 pound, 70 pound, 110 pound. Okay. These are going to get installed on my 4066R, put these on a weight bracket. I hang them off the side of a ballast box, all that kind of thing. So I think I've got, oh, I don't know. I think I have 15 or so of these. So we'll get the most data points for this. Um, need to keep in mind though, that this is not scientific unless you're, you're counting Rosie. I mean, she's kind of a watchdog, but uh, she'll keep me in line a little bit. So we're just gonna go through this. I'm just gonna give you the data on what I have here. This is, you know, just for fun, all right? I'll ingest, but uh, we'll go ahead and weigh them. I'll kind of average it out and we'll see what the actual weights are, if they're more, if they're less, and uh, we'll see. So let's find out if we're getting gypped by John Deere or if we're getting a steal of a deal. So if you like what you see here, would you consider supporting my channel by subscribing? You can also check out my Facebook page where I post a lot of my coming soon listings. And then also my website, a constantly rotating inventory of tractors. Right, Rose? All right, here we go. Okay, so we've got the scale here. You can see it zeroed out, okay? And then uh, you can see this, hopefully you can, you can see the weights of the individual uh, weights when I put them on here. So we have 15 40 pound suitcase weights. I'm gonna do those first. Then we're gonna get into the um, 70 pound suitcase weights and then we will do the couple of 110 pound suitcase weights. So I have made a, an official looking chart here. So we will just go ahead and jot these down. I'll total them up, average them out. And we're gonna find out if we're on the high side or low side or uh, exactly what we got going on. Forty one point two. Forty two point oh. Forty one point eight. Forty two point two. Forty two point oh. Forty one point eight. Forty one point eight. Forty two point oh. Forty one point eight. Forty two point two. Notice the logo on here. Look at this one compared to one of the other ones. Forty one point two. See how this logo is a little bit different than the others? This weight is actually also lighter than, than the others. Forty one point six. Forty one point oh. 42.4 42.0 Oh man, these are quite a bit heavier. Oh goodness. Oh. 71.0 
71.2 Now the 110 pound What? 102.4 This supposed to be 110 Last one. Oh, oh, there we go. 102.2. Huh. So a couple things to note. You know, one, it's not a certified scale. You know, this is <laughs> this is just for fun. Um, I'm not getting that serious about it, but it's more just informational and, and entertainment purposes as all. Well. So we did have a mixture here of the John Deere branded weights as well as the aftermarket weights. Didn't really seem to be a whole lot of difference between one or the other. If you want to determine whether or not you're getting ripped off or if you're getting a steal of a deal, then I guess it depends if you go by kilograms or if you go by pounds. So if you're going by kilograms, you're going to be a little bit shy of, of what you're getting there. But if you're going by pounds, well, you're getting a few bonus pounds there. The one caveat to that, and the wheel weights here don't have 110 pounds or kilograms stamped anywhere on there that I can find. But I did get the hardware that came with the wheel weights that are specifically for the 110 pound suitcase weights. And so if you just Google that model number there, that part number for the hardware that came with them, you'll see they are specifically for the 110 pound suitcase weights. What I find interesting is that those suitcase weights didn't weigh anywhere near 110 pounds. In fact, they were roughly eight pounds less than 110 pounds. It almost makes you wonder if they're supposed to be 100 pounds and I got a couple extra pounds. However, that's not the hardware that came with it. That's not what I ordered. So doesn't add up. So anyway, I, I do also round. I'm aware of that if I'm talking about, you know, the ballast weight in my tractor tires that are 1,470 pounds. Well, it's just nice to have a round number. 1,500 pounds does make that easier. Same thing with a loader. You know, there's a 3R loader, for instance, that lifts 1,595 pounds to full height at the pivot point. Well, 1,600 pounds is just a lot easier to say. So I totally get it. I'm guilty of it as well. Anyways, I hope you found this entertaining. If you wouldn't mind, take a moment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, check out my other videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.